What's going on, guys? Your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and we are back with another episode of Vikings. Season 1, episode 8 is here, and I'm curious to see what this what this next episode i'm just gonna jump into this episode if you want to see my review for the last episode go and check out my last reaction to season one episode seven um but just as a quick tip as in the the biggest thing that happened in the last episode was um lagertha she um miscarried her baby and Ragnar knows nothing about it. I don't know how he's going to feel when he gets home because he's on his way home right now from his um, stint in England. So let's see how things turn. I want to see my full review. As I said, check out the last reaction. Okay, I'm going to try to put a card up there so you can click on it. Just see what it's all about. Come back and watch this video if you want to just roll on. Okay, so we're just going to jump into this. I will see you guys for the review. Okay, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Um, that episode was very good. Very good. Great episode, man. Um, an episode to learn about their, you know, sacrificial, um, what do you call it? The rituals, uh, to understand the culture a little bit more. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Spend, they spend basically the whole, the whole episode, um, of, Ragnar going through the motions of just losing his son from, you know, Lagertha having the miscarriage and then going to this place, Uppsala, to uh, make the sacrifices to the gods. And as you can see during that episode, I was... I was conflicted by the fact that some of some of the things just didn't it just didn't make any sense to me as I'm trying to reason it out with myself, you know, as in. Why didn't they tell the priest that he was going to be sacrificed? Seemed like everybody else that was going to be human sacrifices was told that there were going to be human sacrifices. He was the only one that didn't know. And I guess it's because they weren't sure. You know, what were they was Ragnar intentionally trying to insult the gods because he knew if nobody knows, if nobody knows. Ragnar knew that this guy was not converted fully. I wasn't convinced that for sure, like him just saying that I know from. Um from just experience alone with people who have been indo indoctrinated, whether it be coming from Muslim to Christian, Christian to Muslim, Christian to Buddhism, whatever the situation, I know from experience from seeing that kind of in indoctrination that those people are always, uh, it takes a very long time for them to switch over completely. There is still some parts of that religion that stays with them. You get what I'm saying? Because... When you are brought up in something, it's not easy for somebody to come along and be like, oh, this is something different. Believe in this. Um, you know, it's not easy. It's not an easy process for you to drop your old religion cold turkey like that. It's not it's not an easy process because it's a mind thing. Your mind has been conditioned to believe something. And, you know, who knows? You might have. You know what I'm saying? Absolute proof that your religion and then somebody else coming to contest that. And for you to be indoctrinated, yes, you might believe some things over in the other religion, but you still at the core is very hard, as you can see with the example of the priest. So I don't know the reason why they decided to choose the priest as a sacrifice. I guess they didn't want to kill anybody that they knew. So they um, chose the person who was the, ha, have the least amount of connection to to um to their beliefs and that's this just what i'm saying like it just doesn't make any damn sense it seems like they were intentionally trying to insult the gods you know what i'm saying so 
that's where I'm like, in a way, the storyline, that story just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, is Ragnar, another question is, is Ragnar starting to believe a little bit about Christianity? Is that it? I don't know. So there's a, there's a lot of, con, um, a lot of, um, storylines here that I'm trying to figure out, but if it's not revealed, then it's just going to remain that at a concern, you know? So I don't know if, if he, he at, during the, this season so far, you know, he's been really curious about this. So I don't know if he's starting to be on the fence about his gods because now, you know, why? Why would they take um, his son? You get what I'm saying? Why would they take his son? Which is a lot of questions that we have in general as, you know, as Christians, you know, th th I'm talking about myself. Let me just not say we, me. I have a lot of questions about Christianity, just the same. Like, you know, but it's one thing I always come, I always get an answer. For me, I always get an answer to, to any question that I have. Anytime I have a question, there's always a, a, a revelation that comes to me through something. I don't know what it is, you know, but... It's not easy. You get what I'm saying? Yes, we all do have questions when it comes on to whatever religion we believe in or whatever the situation is. We all want to know if there's a supreme being. We all want to know. So, and we, we're going to have tons of questions, of course. And, you know, everything will be revealed to you in time. You just have to be patient. So, um... To me, I'm not a, you know, I'm not the type of person who grew up Christianity, so I'm going to throw God in your face, or, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not that type of person, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mandate in life is to love. That's my mandate in life. Love everyone. Love everyone. That's my mandate in life. It's not for me to throw spirituality at you and all of this sort of stuff. Just love everybody. Yes, people are going to get on your nerves. Love them despite of themselves, right? It's all about love. And that's why in this community on this channel, I'm trying to show y'all that I don't want those hateful comments on my, on my channel. If it ain't about positivity, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a tree hugger by any means, but you know what I'm saying? Where I'm, I'm not a hippie or anything like that, but I just think that, um, you know, in no uncertain terms, I believe that we just need more love in this world, we just need people to love each other, and stop all this other stuff, like, yes, respect other people's opinions, that's what we're all about over here, um, so if somebody says something that you don't like, they may disagree, they might get something different from a show on this very same point that you're talking about, I never come off to you guys as you know what I'm saying like you're an idiot or I'm not I'm not about that like your opinion is your opinion I might you know what I'm saying I might agree to disagree with you but don't be venomous about it it's just a disagreement right and at the core of it all it's just somebody's you know opinion writing about a specific subject that you know to stir debate, to stir all this stuff, no need to get venomous about it. So that's all it is. So that's all I take it for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all love over here. It's all love. No matter what your opinion may it be differ. And I love, you have no idea how much I absolutely love when you guys in, the, in my comment section, whether it be for anime, whether it be for my TV shows, when I when you say you respectfully disagree, there's nothing wrong with that. I read your comment. I like it anyways, because guess what? You have your opinion. I have mine. And if I listen to your opinion and I like what you have to say, you know, I might respond with, you know, I 100 percent agree with you on that, you know. And if I disagree with a certain point that you made in your comment, then I will I, I will say that also it's respectfully disagree is nothing wrong with that keep it like that and we can all get along because it's all love 
We all can't be the same people. We all can't believe in the same things. It's just not going to happen. That's, you know, it's, it, it's you know, in, it's asking for an impossible possibility. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So thank you guys for watching as always, man. This episode was very eye-opening. Um, sorry we had to lose someone like that that was not necessarily important to the story. Um, but I was happy to learn that King Horik is going to be one of my favorite actors, by the way, love that guy. Um, and I don't know his name. I, I couldn't, I can't remember his name. And he's one of my favorite actors, but I haven't seen him in something for so long that I think the last thing I watched him in, and I haven't been keeping up with it is, um, Gotham. I think that's the last thing I saw him in. I think it's Gotham, and I haven't been keeping up with Gotham um, because there's a lull in that show that I just couldn't take. It was just like, get to the point. Can he become Batman, please? I'm kind of like in, <laughs> I'm kind of like in that um that phase where I used to be when I was watching Smallville, where I'm like, when is he gonna put on the suit and become Superman? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what Gotham is like. It's just a um, it's the same kind of storyline that they that they're kind of going through the motions of what you know telling those years of um, Clark Kent from a basically from a high schooler up to when he became an adult. So Gotham is taking the same route in storytelling, whereas in we're gonna learn about Bruce Wayne from he was a kid up until he became Batman. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the with the um the League of Shadows. Um, all of the, the thing that came in between that we never really got to see Batman as a kid. So that's the route. So it's like, it's, ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? So I'll see you guys later, man. Um, this has been great. This was a great episode. Um, as I said, it's, it was just the episode about learning more about the traditions of the Norsemen. So I'm all for it. So thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your boy Terabyte, Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys. I don't know why I'm, why the hell am I stuttering? <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys later, man. Peace.